Welcome to Archer Fish Tank. I'm Jared Wood, your host. We have a great show for you tonight. We are raising the water level in the tank. The snake is gone. We don't need our dry land anymore. Our archers are growing and it's time to give all the fish more room to swim in. So here on the back side of the tank, you can see how I raise or lower the water level in the display area. Here's the display area here, the front that you see where the fish live. Back here is just elevated space to make the dry land where the snake used to live. And the whole thing is, the, the display area is sealed off from the bottom area uh, with caulk and a nylon net to keep the snake out and it's good also to filter so all the water filters through this nylon net it's a great physical mechanical filter this is the drain it comes up and however high i lift this is what the water level will be so all i have to do is raise this up and the water level begins to rise as soon as the water comes up to this point, it will spill over and down into the sump again, maintaining the water level wherever I set this hose. All right, the water level is being raised. It's going up right now. And while we wait, and as part of our celebration, we're going to tell some jokes. I have them right here fish jokes. Are you ready? Where do fish keep their money? In the riverbank. Ah, uh, you should have known that one. What do you call a fish with a tie? Ah, uh, very good. A fish with a tie. So fishticated. <laughs> uh, that's a good one too. What did the fish say when it ran what did the fish say when it swam into a wall? Dam! That's still family friendly because it's a dam in a lake. Every kid loves a good dam joke. And you can tell that one to your mother, it's fine. What kind of music should you listen to while fishing? Something catchy. I have more, but that's enough jokes. We'll save some for later. We're raising the water level to give the fish twice as much area to swim in. The archers have grown a little bit and they're going to be growing some more. So raising the water level over this area gives them new places to swim, new places to hide, new places to hunt. Along with raising the water level, I want to add a little waterfall. So I brought this hose down and placed it on the big rock, letting it drip over and shifting things until I got it just the way I want it. What I'm going to need to do is drill a hole through the rock to run the hose. And I did a couple of practice holes on this brick. Then it was time to actually drill into the rock. Perfect. Now we just have to put the hose through the hole. With the hose all set, it goes back into the tank. It fits right back where it used to be, and the hose runs up the corner of the tank. The water turns on, it runs down the surface of the rock, fills up little pools, and then drips over into the water. This will be a great staging area for fiddler crabs. I'd love to get some and have them scamper all over this rock 
waving their claws around at each other. They'll be fun to watch and give the archer fish endless opportunity to spit at little moving creatures on the rock. The new water level and waterfall look fantastic, but our episode won't be complete without a shot from Scott. Way to go. Scott shoots it down and they both get to go into the new area of the tank to collect the shrimp. Now that same spot on the bamboo is great for jumping. Here's Tim doing his thing. He bumped the branch and got a little scared, but don't worry, he'll be back for that shrimp here in a second. With the new water level, there's a lot more room for these fish to swim in. In fact, they can swim all the way and touch the glass at the back of the tank now. There's lots of places to hide, beautiful rock formations. I still love the way everything looks so natural in the tank. These archers love to school together and swim next to each other, but it is good for them every once in a while to be able to get out of sight from one another. And with this new setup, it gives them more opportunity to be able to do that. Okay, I've got one more. Why can't fish play basketball? Because they're afraid of the net. <laughs> Seriously. We have just raised the water level in the tank, giving the fish more room, expanding their world. And that is a good thing. Changes can be hard. We've sent Alta away. She's living with my nephew. We'll miss her. And it's sad. However, if you flip that around and you look at it from my nephew's point of view, they are so happy. I have received video and pictures from my sister and her son. They love Alta. They are showing her to their friends. Uh, they have this big tank that they've created. It has brought them so much joy. These are good things. We can find opportunity in changes. Any changes that happen to us. Instead of seeing the bad things about changes that happen to us, we can find the good things. New things mean growth. And that is reaching outside our world. That's our motto here at Archer Fish Tank. Reach outside your world. And today we expanded the world for our Archer Fish. I'm Jared Wood. This is Archer Fish Tank. Reach outside your world. Along with celebrating the water level raising, we are also celebrating 81 subscribers to our channel. We're trying to get to 100. So if you like this channel, go look at some of the other videos. If you decide you want to see more videos whenever they come out, subscribe. Like, subscribe, comment. It's all good stuff and it helps keep me making more videos for Archer Fish Tank.